devil are you? Well, excellent, me too, thank you very much for asking. Welcome to another day. Today I am down here right now at Pinewood Garage. I came to get my car MOT last week, they couldn't fit me in, they're going to squeeze me in today because I've got a booking. Uh, started the day off well as well, being down to the gym, did a biceps and triceps session with Austin and my training partner who's just back off his holiday, so that was really good and uh, yeah, I'm hoping for a positive day, mostly positive because uh, I want my car to pass its MOT without failing on anything so it doesn't really cost me any money other than the MOT test, so keep your fingers crossed on that one for me. Uh, I do have a load of work to get done so I'm just going to wait for the guys to arrive get my car parked in, sit myself down at a desk and do some work until the car comes back again. Just please do keep your fingers crossed because yeah you never know. You never know with an MRT, you just never know and uh, they always try and sneak something in there that they all fail on. goodness car passes mot no extra little hidden bits and pieces no advisories no nothing jobs are good and right i'm home time to crack on with more work before i pick up max in about four hours all right then i have spent this afternoon sifting through uh, a load of old videos hopefully gonna get a new vlog up for you guys today at some point or another however right now i need to go and pick up max uh, but also uh, been cracking into some work for some uh, clients uh, some new clients and also um one of my regular clients, Julia Blake, she is awesome with CRM systems and helping businesses kind of get more out of their business and make more money and all that kind of stuff. And uh, she's done some videos and came up with a solution to a little issue that we had with one of the videos. And it had been staring me right in the face. But you know when you kind of need to like step away from something for a while? I'd, I'd come up with a solution, but it wasn't ideal. It wasn't the perfect solution. And then just suddenly... That moment of genius happened and that perfect solution came to me. And so it's, it's kind of like that in business all the time, isn't it? You need to sometimes just step away from the moment, step away from what it is that you're working on. Go and do something else, completely like just refresh your head so that you can almost have a reboot and your brain just goes, oh my God, that's what I was trying to think of doing before, but I hadn't really thought of it that way. And then you've got your solution, you've got your answer. So if you're struggling with something in particular, and maybe you've been working on it for hours upon hours upon hours, step away from it for a while. Go and do something different. Work on a different project. Go and do something in the gym, climb, whatever it is that you do, go for a run. Just refresh that mind. Let your brain reboot a little bit, and then suddenly the answer will pop into your head. It's that simple. Ready. All right then, it's been a full day. Um, also, I spent quite a lot of it working on some of my own stuff for social media. Uh, talking today quite a lot about something I've been chatting to a lot of my clients about, a lot of uh, people I meet at different networking events as well, which is getting yourself planned for what blogs you're going to write so that you know where your social media is going over the next month. Uh, the big thing, obviously, is that you start with a blog because that helps you put your mindset in place, you know what you're talking about, and then you can move on to other content and all that kind of stuff. Um, <coughs> and a lot of people kind of go into blogs and don't really know what they're going to write. So it's kind of, right, get yourself planned, know what you're going to talk about over August, and then you can move on from that particular point rather than just scattergunning your approach and not really knowing what you're going to talk about straight away. So I've been talking a lot today about planning, understanding what your four blogs are going to be about in August. So um, yeah, get thinking about it yourself as well. If you're running a business right now or a brand and you're trying to grow it, what could you blog about this month that could tie back into other events perhaps that you could make really interesting that would tie into your business? Have a think about it. There's plenty of stuff going on. The Ashes in sport. Uh, we've obviously got a brand new Prime Minister in the UK. Lots of stuff you could write about there. There's loads of things that you could talk about. So uh, have a think about it. What four blogs could you write? And let me know in the comments below.